Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Bulldog Show. Please spread the word, share it with your friends. Thank you for listening. I'm back with Vengeance after a week off of doing shows. First time I've taken a week off in a year. But I am ready to rock and roll. Today's show is sponsored by Dieter's Law. And I am wearing my bourbon Kentucky hat, which I purchased in Bardstown when we went down Saturday to the Nelson County Fair. Let's get right with it. Trump DeSantis. There was a young Republican organization that hosted Trump down in Florida. And you can't make this up. He gets 80% of the vote from this group of young Republicans. DeSantis gets, I think, like 10% or so. Pence gets less than half a percentage point. If you got any question of who is the front runner for 2024, it's Donald Trump. And when he went out to Arizona to speak at a Cary Lake rally, a Trump rally for Cary Lake, really, he hinted that he was probably going to run. It was clear as day he was hinting to run. And guess what? The same time he's there in Arizona campaigning for Cary Lake, Pence was there campaigning for her, run, a person who's running opposed against, running against her, who's got all kinds of millions and is still going to get waxed. I've never seen a grassroots campaign uh, like Carrie Lake's. It's incredible. AOC, uh, I have to comment on this because it happened late last week and I didn't get a chance to. Fake handcuffs. Do you believe it? Acting like you're handcuffed, acting like you're being arrested. It's hysterical. <laughs> Steve Bannon was convicted of contempt on Friday uh, for not complying with a subpoena. When you look at the people that have knowingly lied, knowingly lied to Congress over and over again, hell, Clapper on down to Hiller, everybody, Eric Holder not complying with anything, but they go after Steve Bannon. He, he's not going to go to jail. They will not put him in jail. If he goes serve time, he'll serve some like 30 days, in my opinion. But it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Who says monkeypox is an emergency situation? Wow, imagine that. Is that a shocker? Hell no, it's not a shocker. They're going to gear up old monkeypox. I got to ask you a question. Are you worried about getting monkeypox? I bet you aren't worried about getting monkeypox. I'm not worried about getting monkeypox. Jenny Thomas, the wife of Clarence Thomas, the Supreme, United States Supreme Court Justice, January 6th, Liz Cheney says, they're going to subpoena her. They're going to subpoena her. I don't know about this, but if I was Jenny Thomas, apparently they like to go across America in a motor coach. If I'm Clarence Thomas, I'm getting a good family friend or two and say, Jenny, go on a road trip. <laughs> I mean, if they announce they're going to subpoena you and you don't want to be subpoenaed, don't let them subpoena you. Recession. Eh, Biden's, Biden's talking about a recession without using the word. Yellen's doing the same thing. Oh, it's not a recession, but the economy's slowing down. Guess what? We're in a recession. Lee Zeldin, Republican congressman running for uh, Congress, you see the video, this guy kind of walks up really slowly and then puts a knife to his throat. He grabs him, big ruckus. The state court let that guy out. The feds then arrested him, so he's back in jail. Do you believe it? Someone tries to knife a congressman's throat in public, and he's let out. <laughs> Jill Biden, she's under attack. There were some emails that released where she's saying there was so much promise. Joe wanted to do so much. And then her approval rating is going, Nobody loves Jill anymore either. Fauci. Fauci claims he's going to retire at the end of this administration. And furthermore, he's now open-minded to the concept that this might have been released from the China lab. Imagine that. Mega Millions. Mega Millions is up to almost $800 million. I never buy a lottery ticket, but by golly, I want it. It's not 480 It's about $800. We got, I got to make sure, folks, staff, Remind me, let's go buy a Mega Millions. Bruce Springsteen tickets going for as much as four or $5,000 a pop. Thousands for the nosebleeds. Folks, Bruce Springsteen got where he is by being this great American poet for the American working man and woman. 
all of that music and all those songs. And then he went left and went woke. And I didn't understand it because I'm like, all of your fans are red, white, and blue. And he goes like that. Now, he is now destroying his image even worse. I don't care. Ticket match him. It doesn't matter. He's got some power here. To be selling tickets for that amount of money, just bad, bad, bad look. Bad reality. Not just look. And then I didn't get a chance to comment on it. I'm going to give Oracle status to the Indiana Mall hero. This young man who shot and killed with 11 seconds that Indiana Mall shooter and saved lives. Good for him. That's why I carry my gun all the time. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope today is yours.